This video was made to review and critique the material in it and is not intended to be a substitute for the original work. I do not own the material or any part of the series in this video. Please support Lead Them Films by watching the full episode and show on Crunchyroll, Netflix or any other platform that legally streams it. Links to the official sites are available in the description box below. This video is intended to fall under the general guidelines of fair use and is edited as to not compete with the original work. As an aspiring writer and artist, my goal is to comment, review, critique and learn from the work. Thank you for understanding. Welcome to Watcher, it's time for episode 4 of Tokyo Revengers. First of all, thank you so much for the support and for joining me on this adventure. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and leave a like if you enjoy the content, I truly appreciate that. Mikey and Draken just made the show a lot more interesting, simply by their character design and their behavior. Those two are not kidding around. Kiyomasa was a pretender compared to them. A fake badass. Maybe his anger issues stem from his frustration of being a loser compared to Mikey and Draken. Anyway, I love how those two characters were introduced. They seem to be decent guys, but clearly something will go wrong. I haven't figured out what yet. We saw a glimpse of the other guy, I think, in the last part of the last episode, and he looked vicious. I wouldn't be surprised if he provoked Mikey into losing it. Still, I feel like there is more to that incident, something that will come to light as we go on in the story. Looks like Takemichi has found a way to get close to Mikey, which is nice, that's some story progression. Hopefully, he'll get a bit more badass as well. I like how every episode keeps on getting better. Let's see what this one is about. Bothering people. I like how brave she is. Yeah, she has a great point. Takemichi, she is outdo outdoing you. The name of this episode is Return. Whatever that means in this case. A dream? What is his dream? Please remind him for our sake. <laughs> that is hilarious. Ooh, things are getting spicy. Just say yes. Embrace it. Obviously, it's not that easy at that age. Oh, that explains a lot. You can't say too much. Dude, keep things to yourself. Yeah, that's more like it. That's how you should phrase it. He is a bit older. He's just come back. 12 years. Imagine getting so excited by fireworks. I'm not a big fan of fireworks. They're just annoying, loud. And it scares all the animals. What the frick? <laughs> Why are you holding hands? Oh yeah, that's right. Dude, you're going back now. Just when things were getting exciting for Takemichi. Shake hands, again, immediately. I guess it's confirmed then. It is the handshake that does it. Wow, that's spooky. Yeah, I think that's for the best. What? What the frick are you talking about? I don't think it's that simple. We need to figure out what really happened. No, there is more to that incident and I will keep on saying that until we have all the information. Oh, here, right now. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. I'm up for that. Let's go. I bet it, it will take an eternity to find Mikey though. Hmm, as I suspected. Have you found something? Ooh, your friend. So it actually happened. Man, things are so different. Just by one or two visits into the past, he's been able to change quite a lot. 
Man, that's disgusting. What the frick are you doing? Would he really have the same number? Okay. Now we'll see if that is true. I hope this goes well. Who the hell are you? Some twerp is here. Come on, let's meet him already. Well, obviously, he's nervous as we are dealing with someone unpredictable. Someone who's capable of stabbing people. I hope this goes well. Ooh, is that him? He has changed. Yes, he does look totally different. Man, he is a big shot now. I don't know if we can trust him yet. What if this is an act? Suddenly he'll start to punch him. And beat him. It seems alright. He seems a bit down, as if something is bothering him. Wow. He already knows. Oh. What the hell? Why though? That is freaking shocking. Man, what are we dealing with here? How do you know that? I guess, but still. Things aren't the same. What are you talking about? Kisaki soldiers now? What? But why would Kisaki want to hurt? Hanagaki and Hina. Yeah, that dude looked vicious. And when we saw him, he was still young. Imagine him now. Draken died. What is this episode? What are? What is he doing? Is he about to jump? Man, this episode is mind blowing. He's about to jump. I'm telling you guys, he's about to jump. What the hell? We should not have come. Was it worth it? The information? I don't know. It would seem suspicious to the police. He's the only one up there. They would think that he pushed him. So many layers to the story. It's just been four episodes. I'm really enjoying it, but wow. Who the hell are you? Seemed familiar, that face. Yeah, he's losing everyone. Maybe you can do it by going back. Wow. I'd say that this was on the verge of being a phenomenal episode. I'm impressed by this show. It just keeps on getting deeper. Coming into this series, I never expected this. Anyway, we learned quite a lot in this episode. As suspected, Kisaki Teta is behind everything bad that's been happening. I told you that he looked vicious. That dude is a mad man. And we haven't even seen him that much. But man, the way Akun died was just horrible. It was super sad to see. He must have been so troubled. Hopefully, Hanagaki can save him. Guide him towards a brighter path. And then we also learned that Draken died. The coolest guy of them all. Like really, what could have happened? It's understandable that it changed Mikey. They were best friends. Anyway, it was good to see Akun again. Even if Hanagaki's meeting with him ended too soon. Wish he gave us a bit more information. But that's just me getting greedy right now. He just seemed very broken and troubled. But the most important thing though, is that Hanagaki finally is getting braver. What just happened will only motivate him. My favorite part of this episode was obviously the tragedy. As I said, I didn't expect that from the show. I love how deep it is getting. So for me, this was an 8 or even 9 out of 10 episode. A lot of information and great revelations. This is actually the type of stuff I enjoy the most. Now we really need to meet with Mikey. I need to hear things from him, from his perspective. But anyway guys, that's it for this time. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, then please subscribe and leave a like. I'd really appreciate that. Now take care and see you next time.